Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. This video is part two of this right here, WordPress popular post. In part two, I'm gonna show you how to correctly sort your popular posts by the view counts. This video will require you to add some simple code to make this work correctly. Before I continue, if you aren't familiar with Elementor's custom query filter, I recommend you check out this video right here that I created. I'll leave a link in the description below and you can also just click the card up here. This video will help you better understand how you add custom code to your queries inside Elementor. So let's just jump right into it. Here we are on the back end of the Elementor website and here is the post widget that we added from the first video. And this right here is showing you how I was able to add the dynamic field called views, which will then sort out this feed correctly. So if you remember, I just take that out, it's gonna no longer display by the most popular view. So I'll type that back in. The first step we need to do to make sure that this feed is displaying correctly by the amount of views, we need to add a query ID. So underneath the post widget right here, in this example, I just called it pop dash post. So whatever you have right here, you just wanna make sure you copy that to your clipboard. Here's the simple code that we need to add to make sure that that custom query is ordered by, you can see right here, called meta value number. And if you haven't already, I recommend you install code snippets or if you have a child theme, you can add this code in here. This is your function code right here. I'll leave this in the link in the description below in case you just wanna copy and paste it. So all we need to do is go into here and change this ID right here. So this pop dash post is of course what we added right here. So whatever you add here, you gotta make sure it matches right here. This code will make sure that all of these posts are showing in the correct order. So let's go ahead, do some testing, make sure this all displays correctly. And here's a good way that we can make sure that everything is working correctly. So in the background right here, I have all my posts and I have it sorted by views. And then right over here is the feed we just created. So we wanna make sure that when we change these view numbers that everything is updating correctly. So let's go ahead and make sure everything's uh, pretty consistent. So background images effects is number one. The second one with 464 views is four things missing from your services page. Then we have hide sections add your Instagram, we got four, four. Okay, so everything is working perfectly. As an added bonus, I'm gonna show you how you can change these numbers at each post level. So we can do some testing or if you need to change what is the most popular, you could just do it right within uh, WordPress. So let's go ahead and say we want this one right here, four or four page template to be number one. So let's make sure that it's over 1,002 views. So what you can do is click edit. And if you scroll down to this section right here, these are all your custom fields or meta fields. Um, in this example, I probably have a lot more than you. I have a lot of plugins, but if you just scroll down until you see the word views right here, you could see views, we have 13. Let's change this to an extremely high number, like 6,521. Let's hit update. And now if we go to all of our posts, sort by views, you can see that one has 6,521 6, views. Let's go back into this overlay. I'm gonna hit refresh. And there you go. You can see that the page four for page template is now number one. Let's go ahead and make uh, this one right here, hide sections. Let's make that one bigger than 6,521. So if we go into the hide sections, let's make this an extremely large number. So I'm just gonna go down to you see views. Let's make it really large. Let's hit update. This is just to make sure that everything is working correctly. Um, okay, so we got 235,000 views on that post. That better be number one. Let's make sure. If we go here, hit refresh. Yep, there you go. Hide sections is now um, number one. So let's go ahead, do some more testing. The whole purpose of doing this type of testing is you want to try to break things to see if it works or you know doesn't work. So let's just change that back down to 23. Hit update. Go back to the overlay. And that should now be pushed down. There you go. It's back down here. Go to post, views, and yep, there you go. Everything seems to be working correctly. Another good thing we can do is now that we are actually touching code, whereas the first example I showed you, we did it all without touching any sort of code. If you already have the code in here for this custom ID, we can actually eliminate this plugin right here. So if you want to eliminate an additional plugin, we can just turn this off. So this was the dynamic order by views field. Let's just go ahead, turn that off completely. And of course, by doing that, it's gonna break your feed. So let's go ahead, hit update. 
you can see that the feed is now broken. So if we go back to that snippet and we just add this one simple little query right here, you could just say the query set meta key is now equal to views. This is of course is that dynamic uh, field that we added with that plugin. Just change that to views, hit save changes, and let's go back here, hit refresh, and there you go. So this is good if you want to eliminate an additional plugin, you don't want to have to rely on that um, plugin to show your feed, you could just do it all within code. And that's it for this video. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new Elementor tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.